among the many flagship smartphones that OnePlus has announced over the years, the OnePlus 12 stands out for just one reason. It is the most complete OnePlus flagship till date from a hardware standpoint. There's wireless charging, an IP rating, and the phone also boots to Android 14 out of the box. But there's still something missing. There's a sheer lack of fun generative AI features, which Google and Samsung have been loading their flagships with off late. Does OnePlus's tried and tested formula still work in 2024? Let's find out in this review. The OnePlus 12 sticks to its roots when it comes to design. Its overall design is very similar to the previous OnePlus 11, which was born out of the OnePlus 10 Pro. The camera module may appear familiar to OnePlus 11 users, but it gets a different treatment, which makes it appear very much like a luxury timepiece. There's finally an official IP65 rating, which may not be much compared to other smartphones, both at and below this price point. But it will give owners peace of mind knowing that their smartphone is designed to withstand rain and splashes of water. While it looks gorgeous, the device isn't finished to the typical OnePlus standard. To be precise, the part of the camera module which wraps around the edge and onto the midframe is quite sharp and has misaligned plastic fillers. Thankfully, this quality issue does not seem to affect the IP rating of the device. The phone does feel a bit heavy at 220 grams, but its curved sides and 3D curved edge display does not make it appear as bulky. OnePlus is one of the few smartphone brands to offer a Quad HD Plus display on a smartphone at this price point in India. And at 510 ppi, it is quite sharp and also quite legible in bright sunlight. The display also supports Dolby Vision content and it appears as expected. Surprisingly, the OnePlus 12 is one of the few smartphones in the premium segment to offer a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor this year. It packs in enough power for daily app usage and multitasking and also runs most games without breaking sweat. Thanks to that massive vapor chamber cooling system, the phone does not feel hot to touch even when recording 4K video and maintains performance while playing fast-paced 3D games. The OnePlus 12 runs Oxygen OS 14, which is based on Android 14. While the software experience is smooth and free of bloatware, it lacks any generative AI features which smartphones like the Google Pixel 8 and the Samsung Galaxy S24 offer at a slightly higher price tag. However, there are some software additions which I like, like Fluid Cloud, which offers a dynamic island-like bubble in the status bar and shows relevant details for select apps. Camera performance has improved drastically over the previous model, and the reason for this is because the OnePlus 12 offers a fresh set of cameras which were recently introduced with the OnePlus Open. It's book-style foldable, which costs twice as much. The primary camera captures detailed images with excellent contrast and color, showing plenty of details and shadows and not going overboard in the brighter areas of the scene. Sharpness is on point and details are excellent, whether it's textured surfaces or even foliage. Low light performance also comes quite close but drops a bit in terms of detail and dynamic range. The 64 megapixel 3x telephoto camera is the showstopper and manages impressive photos in all kinds of lighting conditions. Pictures of objects and subjects come out quite sharp even under artificial light with the natural bokeh. However, images captured with it appear quite warm and saturated compared to the primary camera, which is closer to accurate. Images from the ultra-wide angle camera look alright on the phone but they lack sharpness and detail and somehow seem a bit soft, not just in low light but in daylight as well. Video quality has notable improvements over the OnePlus 11. Footage captured at 4K appears very stable and shows slightly vibrant color as well. Dynamic range is excellent and so is the bitrate. The phone's 5400mAh battery manages a solid 28 hours and 6 minutes in our standard video loop battery test. This was well above expectations for a smartphone both at this price point and above it. For daily usage, I easily manage around 9 hours of screen on time or about a day and a half of heavy usage. OnePlus 12, unlike previous models, also offers wireless charging at 50 watts when used with its Air Roof dock. Its 80 watt wired charging is equally impressive and manages to charge the device from 0 to 100% in just 37 minutes. The OnePlus 12 performs well on all fronts and easily outdoes the smartphone it replaces. And so, it's easy to recommend as an upgrade even for those who own the previous model. 
If you are the type that wants to try out something new and hop aboard the AI bandwagon, then flagships from Google and Samsung are a better choice. But if you don't care about AI, it's really hard to ignore the OnePlus 12 as it offers excellent value.